Welcome back, my friends. So today we're going to be taking a look at a brand new NES emulator called 3D Send. This is going to be available on Steam Early Access starting Friday, June 19th. The developer reached out to me, said, hey, if you think your audience may be interested in taking a look at this, here's a little demo. So he gave me a key and we're going to check this out today. This allows you to play your NES games in a whole new perspective, and it is a trip to see. I've messed around with this for uh, around an hour or so, so far, and I am impressed. So we're going to go ahead and go through how things work here, how to get going, and test it out and show you what it does. So once you first load up, this is the screen that you're defaulted to seeing. Nothing fancy, but you do have some options up here for volume, background music, shadows, frame skip, frame rate. I'm not going to mess with any of that stuff. But the one thing I did mess with was uh, I want to use a gamepad. I don't want to use a damn keyboard. So the first time I went in here, I just selected gamepad. I'm using the Xbox 360 wired controller. I clicked on left and then I just hit D-pad left and everything auto filled in and works perfectly fine. I didn't have to mess with anything. Uh, menu equals select and start. You could have that unchecked if you don't want to use that. Uh, menu, you could just go into it by hitting B. And then there's some how-to down here. Select your ROM. We'll do that in a second. Create game art. I'll show you that as well. Uh, switch views, reset camera, long press menu. Then you do have save states, uh, select and down to save, and then uh, select and up to load, and then trigger zapper by right-clicking. So you do have load and save over here if you want to um, access save states for a game that you're currently in because you can go back to this menu at any time. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and click game here. First time I went through here, I was like, man, this is kind of bland. You know what I mean? But the thing is, is you have to supply your own ROMs here. It does have a list of games, but you have to supply them yourself. Just use NTSC ROMs. You should be fine for the most part. Now, currently there's about 70 games and growing that work fine with this program. Um, there's supposed to also be in like a developer add-on thing that's supposed to come out later on where you can make your own games to work with this type of thing. Don't know the, the, the full details on that. But as you see here, um, we do have a bunch of games listed and, some, and most of them don't have artwork. So the way that works is, is you go into a game when you have a screenshot, you back out and you select it. I'll, I'll show you that real quick. So let's go to Bomberman, for example. So I'm going to go ahead and select that, double click it. It opens up the screen where you navigate to wherever your game is, right? Now, that's all you got to do. Put all your ROMs and like maybe just one folder for this program, for this emulator, um, where it's easily accessible. But you only have to do this once per game. So once you select it, like, okay, Bomberman, we're loaded up. We're in Bomberman. I'm going to go ahead and exit. Well, not completely exit, but back out. And as you see, we have... Like this is the state that we're in, that's screenshot. I'm gonna right click it, and then boom, it added our screenshot for the game there. So you could, you know, select whatever screenshot you want when you're in the game, but we'll go ahead and go back in there real quick. So the neat thing with this in every game, it's kind of a little different. Some games have more detail than others, obviously, but as you see there, it's the perspective and it's in 3D. So let's take a look real quick. A little Bomberman action. Okay, let me blow that up. Now this one's kind of like, you know, it's not going to show this effect off as great as some other games would, but it's still pretty damn neat. I'm using the right stick here to um, manipulate the view and, and you can go all the way around. Like it's pretty crazy, but I think this game doesn't show this off very well. So we're going to exit out of that, um, find something else. So let's go to like... Let's go to Contra and I'll show you a game that I've already loaded up so you can see that it doesn't need to do that every time. You don't have to select every time. I'm going to go ahead and get the screenshot for this one. Boom. Right click. Now we got the screenshot. Go back into it. Damn, didn't put in no codes. That's all right. This one should be pretty interesting. I haven't played this one yet, but I, I think this is really neat. It's a freaking gimmick, man. But it, like, breathes new life into, like, some classic games, dude. Like, a lot of people love this kind of stuff. There was games on the, um, on the Nintendo 3DS that did stuff like this. Like, uh, you know, there's a handful of games that had that 3D perspective if you wanted to, you know, actually 
use the 3D aspect of the 3DS. I never really did, but I, I mean, that was a cool effect, but to have these retro games where we can just manipulate the view and you have the, those 3D planes and everything is rendered in 3D, that's freaking nuts, dude. Like, okay, let me pause this game, but just like the angle, you could come up with all sorts of stuff. You could zoom in. If you really want to get into some detail, boom, zoom out. And let's say you like totally screw up the, uh, the whole angle. You could pause the game and still mess around with stuff. But if you really screwed up how, how the look was and you don't like it, just hold the menu button down long press and then let go. And it goes back to the default, the default view. Even if you don't like mess with the angles here, I still think this looks really slick and it, it's really neat. I mean, what else can you really say about this? But there's Contra. I want to go ahead and test out a few other games, at least to just kind of give you guys an idea of what things look like. Because some games, holy crap, man. Freaking nuts. There's a couple games like, or there was one, um, I think Balloon Fight, it said like it wouldn't let me play it. Mapper 99, not supported yet. So uh, there's still a few little things here, but you know, that was like the only one that I couldn't get running. Uh, but let's see, Super Mario 3. This is a game that I've already played. So as you see, I just double clicked it and it went straight to it. Uh, go ahead and exit out of that, set that as a screenshot, go back and play. I've noticed some of the graphics can be a little weird looking at times, but oh, overall it's really neat. Like freaking look at this. I want to I wanna play from a an overhead view. There we go. And zoom in a little bit. Oh, shit. Ah. Oh. Very interesting. Let me back out. Go to settings real quick. Uh, skybox all black let's let's go back to that ah okay so that'll change whatever the background is the skybox all right interesting but we're kind of testing a few things out here default's going to be i guess whatever the game is right okay so there's a few things to mess around with long press get back to the default view go out a little bit kind of change the angle does kind of make it feel a little different playing like this, but the games react and play just like they originally would. So that's nice. Son of a. Oh. If we're playing the Japanese version of this game. We would have died already. One hit in the Japanese version, you you go back to, to little no matter what. But there's that. Let's go ahead and select another game. Uh, what else is cool? There's some homebrew stuff that you could play. Uh, Zooming Secretary is a neat one. Uh, let's see, what else? Micro Mages. Uh, Mega Man 2, let's jump into that. One of them that we haven't played yet. I would really love to see this um, done in like the Super Nintendo. Like from what I understand, it took this guy five years to get it to this point. It's been in development for five years. That is nuts. But man, to see this like evolve into other emulators would be really, really cool. Oh, look at that. That's freaking dope. Multiple layers there. So as you guys see, very easy to get ready, to get set up and ready and go, and just play some games and new perspective. Like I said, it's kind of a gimmick. It, this is not my preferred way to play any of these games by any means, but like, you know, it poses a new experience, especially for games that you're really familiar with. Maybe you want to see them done like this. Like I said, there's been stuff similar to this 
on the 3DS, uh, the Nintendo 3DS before, and um, to have access to this, to load up games, and a growing list of games, like I said, um, is really neat. So, hey, if you're interested, I'll put a link in the description to the Steam page. Like I said, the developer had hit me up. Let me test this out. Uh, I think it's really cool. And I'm really sucking. But hey, I'm just trying to showcase, you know, the look of this. Like, oh my god. You could, like, even go all the way to the back. Like, some of the, the games, like, you're not going to see anything anymore. But, like, that could be a challenge, right? Or, like, or like go into, like, a semi-first person, almost view yeah i can't play like that <laughs> but really cool stuff guys so really do appreciate you hanging out with me uh link will be in the description hit that like button drop a comment interaction helps my channel out greatly we're almost at a hundred thousand subscribers like ten thousand away that's a lot but maybe not and i appreciate everything you guys do to help me out so thank you and with that said i will catch y'all next time peace out Bye-bye, and boom. Bye!